So we're gonna check out this old ship here, and I believe there is uh, this is the Galveston Naval Museum. I believe there is also a submarine here. That was a fantastic documentary, and I'm trying to remember the name of it about some dudes buying submarines from Russia. That was pretty interesting. I watched last night. Operation Odessa. Operation Odessa. Yeah, you guys checked it out on Netflix. It was pretty entertaining. Looks like I gotta pay the man up here, so uh, we'll be back with you in a minute. on Pelican Island. We're going to go to two of some old boats, I believe. This looks like a wonderful place to dump a body, huh, Mrs. Chef? That's what that car's doing right there. Yeah, probably so, out right there dumping bodies. Yep. I wonder all these people parked here. Maybe they're fishing or crabbing or dumping bodies or something. Yeah, that's what I mean. Alright, we're pulling up to some old uh, ships here we're going to tour. And this is not a battleship. I can't remember what this is. Like a some kind of destroyer type, uh, not even a destroyer, it's like the, uh, the pilot ship for the destroyer. I can't remember what these are called, we'll see. All right, folks, this is the USS Selma. It was a uh, World War I uh, class ship that was made out of concrete. It seems pretty crazy, but uh, yeah. It was the USS Selma. Sorry for the wind and uh, it's cold out here, so we can go tour the museum here. So pretty cool here. We in uh, Galveston. This is the Gal Galveston Naval uh, Museum here. The size of these cannons. I'm gonna be a bit muffled because I gotta have the mask on out here. So uh, just bear with that as well. Welcome aboard. We're on the USS Stewart. So this is a destroyer escort. That's what I was trying to remember. Yeah, destroyer escort. The old smokestacks. Crow's nest. All right, let's take a look around this place. Chip store. You can buy a sewing kit. Pretty tight quarters, huh, Mrs. Shell? Oh, yeah. Get claustrophobic in here. <laughs> this smells old, like an old ship. Even through the mask. Shave and shower. Yeah, there you go. This is the cruise head. Showers. There's the pisses. And the place you take a dookie. 
Latrine. Latrine. What's this, the equipment room? Mm -hmm. Looks like modern day equipment to keep this thing uh, running. The old vice is probably from the original days. So this whole thing is like a big maze of little portholes to walk through. You gotta watch the step because each one of these you gotta step over. But look how narrow these passages are. I'd imagine if you were on this during World War II, you probably one day you're in a you know on a farm field in Nebraska, next thing you know you're on one of these things. It'd be kind of claustrophobic and all. You get drafted into war. There's a general information on it. Ooh, here's where the chef would be spending all his time. You'd be cooking day and night. Shout out the galley. I'll be in here chopping up some good fruits and vegetables. Fresh, of course. Especially when you're about to see for like three months. The old steam jacket of kettles. Flat chopped griddles here. Mm -hmm. Be cooking on some bacon and eggs. There's your vent exhaust. Pots and pans. Yeah, them look better than some of the ones I got. These are 100 years old. Hobart, Minnesota. This is the galley, the kitchen of the ship. It's a dangerous place when the high seas and heavy rolling cause hot broth to slosh out from the cauldrons. I bet it would be on heavy seas. Yeah, we're supposed to go down. Let's go down on the bottom of the ship. This is shit. Alright, we're gonna go down a porthole here. Porthole to hell. Uh, living quarters. Gotta watch your head, watch your neck. We got that here, a mess hall or something? Yeah. Ice cream machine, that's pretty cool. That's probably give the guys a real taste of home. You know, when you're out on the ship for a long time, you have some homemade ice cream. Maybe the serving line right here. Serving line for the food. Then you got your bunks and all. Man, this is crazier than if you uh talk about claustrophobic, what if you had the top bunk here? This is what they slept in? Yeah, this is crazy. This is like worse than prison type stuff right here. I mean, imagine that you're on the top bunk, this thing's rolling. The chains are rattling on high seas. You got some exhaust three inches from your nose. Pretty crazy. Imagine sitting around later in here with all them other guys snoring and farting. For months at a time, killing her. Like, oh shit, the chef's making beans tonight. Are we all gonna be blown out of here.
Which way should we go, stern or bow? I think we can even go up, I believe. So we'll do that next. Here we go. Here's the heavy artillery up here. Should we go reenact the uh, Titanic, Mrs. Yeah. Chef? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Got a shrimp boat. Yeah, there's a ferry we were on yesterday. Beautiful up here. Yeah. I definitely want to be outside and then inside. Look at the size of these anchor chains. Big size chain right there. Anchors away. I'm the king of the world! Yes, the king of the world. Jack, I'm flying! You flying? I'm flying! Hang on, my name ain't Jack. Jack! I mean. Should I be concerned, guys? Mr. Chef's calling me Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go up again now. All right, we're going up these crazy stairs. Very narrow, very steep. We're gonna go over to the submarine and set all this up. All right, we're gonna build some more uh, artillery here. There's a smokestack, and there's the. Uh, I think we can go up in one more level. Check that out. Maybe the brig or something. Oh. Check these out. So these were used to uh, defend the destroyers, uh, escort them. So you had ones on the sides here, front, back. Look at the size of these things. These are these are smaller than this one here. This is actually bigger. I don't know, Miss Chef. They put it up on land. I guess to save it, preserve it, so we can rust out in the hole. I'm guessing the back, see those, those, uh, those deals right there, I think is where they hold the canisters for like the, uh, the underwater explosives, roll off the little barrels and all. My mind's blink right now, but you know what I'm saying. The underwater detonation devices. So right here would have been one of the seats and there's the foot pedals to work the device. Pretty cool. I know now what I was looking for, depth charges. Yeah, they throw off them barrels of depth charges down there. Back there there was those uh, holdings for the uh, barrels of the depth charges. They could blow up stuff underwater in like submarines and all. I think we're at the highest level we allowed to go to. There's a searchlight. And they use these to let everybody know uh, where the fireworks will be being sold. Uh, not actually. There we go. More artillery. There we go. This is where Captain Soy Sullenberg, uh, wrong story, never mind. Yeah, what an incredible view up here.
This is where your captain would be, Mrs. Shit. Man, there's no headroom. I'm bumping my head, and I'm only 5'10, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they actually talk to them. Think so? Mm -hmm. Are they supposed to hold like the two balls? No. no. Why would they hold those two balls? Well, like to. I'm not fine with that. Johnny, you're so good. You're so good. Yeah. Combat Information Center. There you go. Check that out. That's where you do your radar and all. The plotting room, like you do your radar and all that kind of stuff. Pretty cool. Command Center. There's the ship's office. This is probably the captain's the quarters. Yeah, yeah here we go. There. Captain's quarters. I figured it was. It looks looks much nicer. And he don't have to sleep in the bunk beds. He got his yeah, own, own little toilet shower. Own shit and everything. Yeah. Lucky him. Once you go past this point, so I'm not sure what or this will be. Oh, so this is all the offices there. They got it pretty nice compared to the rest. Office of State's rooms. Yeah, see. So this is the office's quarters. They wouldn't be with the regular, regular guys. Let's see. Oh, they got some cools over here, yeah. Oh, Stuart. Cool filter kings. Oh. We'll probably filter this. Oh, Is this the captain of the ship? Yeah. Charles Stewart. 1778. Hmm. You must say the captain of this ship, huh? What? Is this captain? Oh. If he's not the captain of this ship, why is his picture in here? Well, this guy was from the bay back in the day. Ow! <laughs> I don't know, dude. I like them patty-waddy pants. Man! Be like some Titanic type of shit, huh? Mm -hmm. Got everything locked up and you're just drowning, you can't get out. Mm -hmm. Alright, we've been through this area before, so uh yeah, let's get out of here. I think we've seen it all just about. Torpedo. MK-18 Torpedo Exhibit. Alright, we're going to see if we can check out the sub. Now, I heard there's a guided tour going on. It's... Uh, Insides reach maximum capacity right now, so we'll see. If not, we'll just go up on top and take a few shots. You know, one thing with this uh, virus and all is I try to touch anything. It's kind of hard working on stuff with no uh, not touch. So we made it up on top of the sub. Some wooden planks here.
the size of these torpedoes. Damn, it's long. You know, it's crazy the technology they had with the pressure of being under the ocean and all to make this stuff work back in that time period. Incredible. Now you see, this is the technology they were using in the 1940s. Well, mechanical. Now, supposedly, some 25 years later, they're going to the moon. Talking about tight quarters, look at this. A poor hole right there, that's it. Amazing, huh? That's how you sleep then, you know, just outside this wall that you cramped into me. Look how small this is. Imagine just right there, the other side of the deep water. This is your officer's quarters, so this is like the nicest of the nice. Navigator quarters, captain's quarters. Captain's room. <laughs> yes, yeah, make you pretty claustrophobic for sure. Shoot you out the torpedo hole. <laughs> Good thing back in the 40s, people were thinner than they are these days. Before the McDonald's. I can't tell you, like, this is just an inch from my head. God, you get claustrophobic in here. That's how you go to the, the attack center and the bridge. It's locked up. I mean, look at all this. You hit one wrong thing on accident, you could really mess things up. Everything's so tight in here. I'm walking sideways. You literally got a foot and a half to walk through here. Yeah, because I imagine this protector wasn't on there back then. He just he messed stuff up. Here's the kitchen. The size of this hole, it's only about maybe three feet by a foot and a half. Oh, here's Rodby, right here. Yeah. 
be like the Waffle House up in here. Yeah. Look at that mixture. Yeah. Pretty cool. Chop up your vegetables and stuff over here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Got your burners. Mm -mm. It's so cautious out here. <laughs> I guess in here it kind of feel normal because you're just cooking. You wouldn't really pay attention that one inch above your head's giant steam pipes and stuff. Yeah, because you get attacked. I've worked in some small kitchens. I really have over the years. I worked in some really small kitchens, but I think this would definitely take the cake. But at least we got to mix it for the cake better. Yeah, this is the cake. The kitchen, you mess all this all together. This is kind of cool though. You get extra plate checkers right on the table. Cups and everything. Where you wash your dishes. Yeah. See, there's a loudspeaker. 36 inch main induction valve. Can you imagine all the damn. No. How, how you could make this. How, how, who came up with all this stuff to make these even possible? You mean, can you imagine the. Know. Ingenuity that went into these with that time period. It's just crazy. This kind of cool. This kind of shows you all the ships from 1900 to 2003. That's, that's interesting. I don't know which class this is. So if you're a general enlisted man, you'd be sleeping like this. You definitely want to work your way up to an officer as soon as possible. I mean, look at that. That's how wide this sub is. It's a very narrow sub. Like the outside structure looks bigger than it actually is because they've uh, built it up to make it look uh, well. They have the deck and everything on it. But... No, this is where you sleep if you just yeah. That's what I'm saying you'd want to be an officer to get the least a little bit bigger quarters. This is crazy. Look at this. It's almost like you're in prison. I mean, really. Pretty much like, look at that. You were going to roll that next yeah, to you're, somebody. Yeah, you're directly next to your partner there. You're going to be broke back mountain. You're damn right. You broke back mountain. <laughs> That's what that is. Especially you're in here for months at a time. Oxygen breathing apparatus. That's, That's right. Gets you depressurized. You definitely need that. Here is your place to brush your teeth and all shave. No shower in there. You know, I was thinking about that. I don't know if they even have shower shower because uh, you only got so much fresh water. I guess they could actually turn the salt water into fresh water. I guess they had that technology in those days. Oh, shoot. Here's your engine room. How about this thing? Could you imagine the heat coming out of here if you had to work in this room? Gigantic eight cylinder or sixteen cylinders. Yeah, it's mirrors eight on each side, straight sixteen. So you are here, so that's what we look like. So there's a level underneath that they're not letting us go to. It looks like you want to get a little this top level. Mm. Oh, here's another engine room. So that's just one of the engine rooms. Oh, oh look at this here. Now this room, you got two 16-cylinder engines. Wow. Boy, the scrappers would love this room with all this copper in here. Thank you. Saw these All the way down there to the bottom. The engine rooms. 
Yeah, you know this be hot. How could you imagine just trying to this. work in this? Why? There's so many nozzles. And who the hell decided to how you make this? Well, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. I know the camera's not going to do this justice, Mr. Chef. There's a tiny hole to go through room to room. Mm -hmm. Tiny hatch. Oh, I just bumped my head. Can you imagine if it's uh if you were like six foot five or something? This would be really difficult. So I'm guessing this would be all the uh, batteries and all. <laughs> Those engines have charged batteries and yeah, here we go. Here's a sign. Let me back up. It's. This is seriously one foot wide. I'm squeezing through here. There you go. So them diesel engines are charging up all these batteries. I'm going to inch through here. This is very narrow. How wide do you think it's about a foot? I can still go through the oil construction. I can't. But. You got to turn to the side. Very well. When you get through, I'm going to try to show these people how tight this is. Okay. So, there you go. There's my hand. So it's not much wider than my hand to go through there. there. There's some full steam ahead type stuff right here. Yeah, could you imagine keeping up with all this and knowing what all this stuff does? There's a shot to the underneath there. We're not allowed to go down there, but there you go. Yeah. Was there storage for the other? Yeah, so I guess this is this is actually the back of the sub. So I guess they could fire front or back, huh? I don't know. Mm. Incredible. No, actually, this is the front. We came in through the back, so the rear. So you have, you have two tubes in the rear and four in the front. Okay. You see, they built this kind of cage around the top of this thing. That's why it looks larger than it actually is. You can kind of see through there how far down it goes to the actual sub. Well, Miss Chef, what do you think about that? Never live on a submarine? Yeah, me neither. Alright guys, well thanks for joining us on this tour. Hope you enjoyed it. We will see you guys next time.